I just wanted to start by telling you guys um, a little bit of background of the way I was raised so you can understand um, how some of just the background I had for before I got saved. Um, <clears throat> my mom was a single mom and then she met and married my dad and my dad raised me as his own and uh, and he really loved me and the Lord really provided me with a really great father. Uh, then, you know, I was raised in a Christian home. I went to church and I um, went to a Christian school and, you know, I thought I was a really good girl because I obeyed my parents and I didn't, didn't do the whole dating thing. I wasn't partying and, um, and I was going to church like I should and I was reading my Bible and I, I had a lot of knowledge about the Bible and I thought that I was saved and that I was going to go to heaven and then, um, so that's how I was raised and then I decided that I wanted to go into the military to pay for my student loans. So um, when I was 19, I went into the military, and I, uh, they shipped me out to Texas for training. And then while I was out there and away from the influence of my parents and of the church, my true colors really started to show. And I started partying and drinking and smoking, and I had boyfriends, and I had sex outside of marriage, and um, I had a foul mouth, and I, was, I just really became ugly and despicable. And... Um, and then while I was out there living this way, uh, my parents were trying to tell me not to get married to this guy that I had met. And, and then I decided that I didn't care what they thought and I was going to marry him. So I uh, married this guy and, and he wasn't a Christian. And, um, and then he, he got shipped off to Florida and I still had to finish my training in Texas there. So while I was there alone, I you know, had this broken relationship with my family, which was really hard because we were really close. And um, the Lord really started to work on me and really started to show me how disgusting and how despicable I was and how I was living this awful, disgusting lifestyle. And also why I was living this way, I had called myself a Christian to all these unbelieving friends of mine. So I was dragging the Lord's name through the mud by saying that I was a Christian and yet I was living the way that they were living. There was no difference in me at all. And um, the Lord showed me that. The Lord showed me how I had how I'd really hurt him and and dishonored him by living that way and it was it was really convicting while I was unsaved I thought that since I know about the Lord I and I believed that everything in the Bible was true but I didn't care I still wanted to have my fun and I thought that you know as long as I don't use the Lord's name in vain I'll be okay because that's showing honor and respect for God since I believe that he's real but I can use all these other bad words and um, I thought that, that I would be okay, that I could live and have my fun and, and uh, party it up. And then when I was ready and done having fun, I could turn back to the Lord and I could be a Christian and go to heaven. And I thought that I would be okay. And the Lord really showed me that, um, that that's not the way it works and that I couldn't do that. And I couldn't have the world and the fun and the, the sins of the world and have this Christianity thing. And I couldn't have both. So I decided, or the Lord showed me, that I needed to turn away from my sin, and I needed to turn to Him, and I needed to uh, um, start living for Him and glorifying Him and stop living for myself and my own desires and my own sin. And, and He really helped me. He gave me the strength to overcome my sin and overcome my um, bad language, and I quit smoking, and I stopped drinking, and... But I was still married to this unbeliever, and because of my sin, I had to now deal with the consequences of living in a, in a difficult marriage because I was a Christian and my husband was not a Christ, Christian. So um, I, was, uh, I ended up having to move to Florida and live in Florida for three years with my husband, and I had a baby, my oldest son. And uh, right after I had a baby, the Lord really provided for me. He brought me back to, um, to Colorado. I, uh, I moved out here and had a nice apartment, and I had a job being an apartment manager, so I had a nice place to live. And then um, my husband moved out here too with me, and he got a job. And and then um, then my hus I found out I was pregnant. Right after I found out I was pregnant with my second son, my husband decided that he wanted to leave, and so that was really really hard on me because I had found all my happiness. Even though I was a Christian, I was still struggling with sin. I was struggling with finding my happiness and my joy in in the things of this world, in a family, in a husband, and 
and having that security here on earth and I was just really I was depending on that for my happiness instead of depending on the Lord so um, my husband left and I was forced to depend on on the Lord for my happiness and I was forced to to depend on him for strength to get through this hard time you know being a single mother and having the the responsibility of providing and protecting and raising two children it was it was a lot to take in I was devastated and not to mention that I had loved this man and I was really hurt by him leaving me so the Lord provided for me because he brought me out to Colorado and I was able to have the support of my parents and my church and I had a job where I could stay home with my kids for a little while and um, and if I had been in Florida when all this happened I would have been stuck there because legally I wouldn't have been able to take my child out of state away from his dad so the Lord provided for me there and then um, you know, after my husband left, we got a divorce, and he wasn't paying child support, so I was struggling financially. It was really, really hard, and I ended up having to quit my job and move in with my parents. And I stayed with my parents about six months, trying to find a job. And the Lord provided for me to be able to put my kids in this great daycare where they were really cared for. These women really love my kids, and these women are Christians, so they're teaching my kids about God. And um, and I was able to find a job where they paid me more than I was asking. So I was able to pay for all my bills. I was able to move out of my parents' house and um, apart, have an apartment and pay all my bills and have benefits so I could have medical for my children. The Lord was just so good to me and he brought me out of this despair I was in. I was able to have joy and happiness in him alone. And uh, it was just an amazing experience. And then, you know, I started struggling again financially and the Lord he, um, he just keeps providing for me, and he, he gives me money when I need it, just unexpectedly. I'll, I'll get something, get a bonus from work or something, and I'll be able to pay my bills, and he's just so good to me. And, you know, I've gone through some really hard things in my life, and, and being alone, a uh, single mom, it's really, really difficult emotionally and, and financially, but the Lord has never, ever failed me, and I would never go back and change any of those things that happened to me because when those hard things happened to me, that's when I drew the closest to the Lord, and that's when I felt His presence, and that's when I felt His love, and um, He's always cared for me and loved me, and I would never trade in those feelings of, of joy and, and fellowship with the Lord for an easy life, and I know that things are going to get even harder. I'm going to go through more difficulty and I can't wait because, not because I enjoy pain or a hard life, but because I enjoy the closeness to the Lord that I get through it. And I get to, um, I get to depend on Him for strength and I can't wait to see how He's going to use my life to glorify Him and how He's going to get me through these difficult things in my life and how He's going to work it all out and it's all in His hands. and. It's just so amazing to see how his hand has been in my life for ever, even before I was a Christian. He had, he had just his hand in everything and he still does and he's providing for me and my kids and I can't wait to see what he's going to do with my children and how he's going to um, bring them up and I have all the faith in the world that he's going to save them and they're going to be used for his kingdom and I just can't wait to see how Jesus is going to provide for me and how I can draw closer to him and serve him and praise him. So.